Hi fellow Webflowers. So in this quick tutorial, I will show you everything you need to know about Webflow backups. So to create a backup, you have to be in design mode. So be sure that you are here in design and not in build or in the editor. And once you are in the design mode, you can click on this little cock icon here. And here you can see the backups. If you click on backups, you can see the backups that Webflow is automatically taken and frequently takes backups of your website. And it is more when you are working on your website and it's, it's less when you're not working on your website. And you can see when the uh, backup was taken, the number of pages, the number of styles and the number of elements, if, if you're curious about it. And here's just a button to create a backup. If you click on it, um, it comes this little uh, pop-up and you can give it a name. So. Let's just call it backup and it just takes a couple of seconds and you can see here is my manual backup. And now you can click on uh, this little icon here and you can rename the backup or you can directly restore the backup. But what, what you also can do is you can click on this preview in a new tab. So let's do this. Yeah, this takes like a minute. And now you are in the preview mode of your website. You can see, yeah, it always starts uh, with this intro introduction here. Um, like you logged into Webflow for the first time. You can see here this little uh, warning sign. Changes will not be saved in read-only mode. Uh, yeah, you can go through all the pages. You can click on elements. So you can do everything you can do on a Webflow website, but you can't make changes. And if you close this tab, uh, you can restore this backup just by uh, clicking on this one and click here, restore backup. Yeah, it gives you some warning. Restoring may disable your secondary locals. You will need to re-enable them before publishing your site. I will show you just in a minute what that means. So I'll click on restore. So here we go. Now the website is restored and yeah, if you made some changes to the website and they are already published and you restored it, you need to republish your website. Uh, so the restored backup is also live on your website. Yeah. So let's get to the local thing, the warning we got. You have to go to locals and if you have an uh, local enabled, I didn't have it enabled before, but then you have to go here and um, you have to enable publishing to this uh, subdirectory. Uh, you have to click this on it again. Now you can see here it's enabled. Click save and publish your website again. So that's all you need to know about backups and Webflow. I hope this video helped you and I see you in the next video.